Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. It is Shirley with Water Expands Upon Cooling, and this is episode 10. Yes, there was an episode 9. It's right now unlisted. Um, so, uh, this episode is about when to tend to cold cases and when to tend to uh, a particular case versus when to tend to a larger theme. So this is for astrologers watching this. I'm going to discuss the difference between um, uh, personal planets and outer planets and significant degrees. Um, for non-astrologers, I'm going to uh, give you a little bit of astrology teaching of uh, when to take a look at a larger theme, when it's a good election to take a look at a larger theme regarding cold cases um, and also just cases, okay, if where we have missing people, we have... Um, people uh, perhaps committed suicide uh, or poisoned to death um, or uh, murdered. And so um, what I noticed is that, first of all, in general, there are several, level, several levels of analysis. Um, you know, as a natal, uh, a lot of spirit in the fifth lunar mansion, uh, 22 degree, yes, then I'm more aware of how important it is to tend to something both on the uh, not immediately visible level, whether it's psychological, psychic, energetic, um, or astrological, for that sense, and also for the material um or you could say the, the lower passionate uh, psychological uh, drive, which is also could be you know, my Mars 22 Scorpio retrograde in the ninth. Um, so all of those drives and all of those aspects matter. Um, and so, uh, because if you take a look at the Imagination podcast, um, then targeted individuals usually experience a lot of the non-visible type of um, targeting and uh, assassination um, that can look like suicide, uh, but isn't necessarily so. And so it's important to look also at when do we look at the one case that can be a person that nobody looked at Maybe they didn't have family, didn't have relatives. Um, uh, and when do we look at a larger phenomenon? When we discuss that one case in a personal case, okay, that person got murdered or whatever. And when do we discuss a larger phenomenon? Um, for example, uh, the um, right now I began this with ascendant 18 degrees so poisoning would be appropriate um, the overall cases of intentional poisoning or suicide by poisoning whereas uh, for example the case of uh, an unknown individual that whose body was found somewhere um, perhaps in a river or something like that and uh, we, when we take the body out, we see, let's say, traces of poisoning. Okay, we don't know what happened. Um, and so, with, whenever we have transits of personal planets, um, that would be for the people who absolutely don't know astrology. So that would be going from, um, you know, from the Earth to... There's Mercury, Sun, Moon, Venus, Mars, and uh, in the midway, we have Jupiter, Saturn. Okay, for those planets, Saturn is already in between, Jupiter is kind of more in between. 
Jupiter spends a year in one sign. Uh, but the personal planets, that tells me that I'm looking at a case right now. And the time is ripe to direct my attention at the case. Okay? Whether it's a famous case or not famous case, um, yes, but um, it, it less the matter right now. Okay? Uh, you have to go deeper into astrology. You can't try everything at once. Uh, so when it's personal planet, then this is a good ripe time if you're doing cold cases um, uh, or if you're tending to a case, you turn to the individual case. What does this case show me? What does this person show me? No person is like the other. And in many ways, no case is like the other. There are the intricacies and there are the things that are the similarities. Um, so certain, for example, there could be uh, a poisoning of, uh, you know, like in the past, uh, if a man was abusive, then the wife would poison him so she can live. Um, uh, and there are poisoning like, you know, of Adolf Hitler, okay, it's like he knew he's expandable leader, uh, and, uh, and then uh, took poison with his wife. And there are poisoning where like, the blankets that the indigenous people in America were given, um, okay, and, and that is a little bit more of bordering outer planet, okay, uh, for, for certain people that were poisoned in this way, there's targeted individual uh, type of poison, there's many things, then they are poisoning by medication, um, and then I want to point out that when to look at not the personal case, or look at the personal case, but think already on a larger phenomena. Okay, so if I take, for example, the case of poisoning, there is a simple case of, you know, let's say, uh, a woman whose husband was abusive to her sexually, and she decided, okay, if I, if I don't want to die, I have to kill him, and poisoning was available. So you could look at that for the, when the personal planets, you look at what was the case. You look at the details. Who was this person? How was this house? How was the relationship? How was it? Like whatever you can get on the case. And then when there is an outer planet transiting, then uh, you could look at the same case. And usually there is connection between outer planets, to inner planets. Um, not always, but uh, in many cases there are. And... Uh, what you could look at is basically the cases of domestic violence in relation to poisoning. I mean, you could look who is poisoned more if you're like more in the statistics, or you could look at the deep psychology, or you could look more holistically what herbs we use, why these herbs, what is the spiritual notion of, let's say, somebody used mugwort. Okay, mugwort is also. Uh, um, a, a very spiritual protective herbs, so very likely she did it for self defense, um, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but mugwort is also associated with planets like a kite and planets like algal, um, that is a protection very likely from sexual violence or even witchcraft that was done by the man. And so we're like, oh, that's very interesting. Let's take a look at some large end cases of this very specific um, type of event. And this is where the planets like Uranus, Pluto, um, Neptune, and, and definitely Aries uh, and the asteroid Sedna could give you is where this is a time to take a look not at the single cold case, but um, to conjoin the cold case to a bigger phenomena. Okay, to look at large and case, look at a phenomena of something that's happening. Okay, people, let's say, being given med psychiatric medications and committing suicide, one by one committing suicide, or found dead, or involved in some very violent situation, uh, perhaps lethal, maybe even there are murderers uh, at this case. It's like, okay, there's something very weird about this. Um, uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, there's how many cases. 
and then you discover like if you go to um, Better Art of Race Foundation, I don't work with them, to make it clear, I guess it's, they're not vouching for me or anything like that. Um, uh, but if you look at the case, I think it was 2007 or 2017, of a woman that was taking psychiatric pills and she was found dead, but uh, the police tried to get the medical records of whether she was taking the drug or not, was not available. And she, and she was described uh, very likely SSRI, okay, so not even talking about psychotics or anything like that. In those cases where there's an outer planet, that would be appropriate time for you to talk about not that particular case, just but the entire phenomena of eliminating evidence of people who may commit suicide after taking psychiatric pills in general. And it's poisoning. Okay? You could see the 22 here, or you could see the 11th and the 18th, as right now as I recorded this episode. And this case comes in, okay? 18 degree poison, 11 degree suicide. Okay? So when there is, um, uh, yes, an outer planet, then um and and right now we have rahu on 11th and rahu uh, the head of the dragon is the um, head of the dragon tail of the dragon or north node south node is how you can run into them and those can be considered first of all fated events it's fated for me to talk about this um but those can be considered um uh, outer planets with an additional aspect of eclipses where it means that it's fated for this case to be discussed okay um i, I don't know what is your world philosophy when you're watching this again what are expense upon cooling is a larger audience it's not just like astrologer and philosophers um but actually to trying to bring the wealth the corpus of knowledge of astrology with a very simple details and uh, leave a trace so you can follow that trace. I got this trace from Nikola Stojanovic uh, and for the cold cases uh, from, of course, but out of Um Both assassinated, in my opinion. Uh, Nikola Stojanovic died of COVID. <laughs> and you can see my <laughs> apostrophes. He yeah, suddenly died of COVID and he had great teachings on degree theory including analyzing Hitler's suicide um, uh, with poisoning. He had 18 degrees in his chart, which is how I suspect he was um, assassinated by poison. Uh, and so that was uh, COVID, but also the teaching for the 22, the to kill and the be killed uh, degree, which is very, very relevant for what Peter was doing, uh, which is looking at the cold cases that nobody looks at, but later in life also uh, famous assassination cases, um, the JFK, and eventually he was um, assassinated himself. Uh, by the way, the um, DeFries had both 22 and 18 degree. Um, uh, and in episode 9, I get a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole, and this is why it is unlisted, um, because I will get the divination of when it's time to uh, release or revise um, uh, this episode, I predict that both poisoning and um, gunshot were involved um, in this case. Um, I know he was turning and then loudly taking the bigger battle when it came to the WHO um, versus the small drug cartels that we see. So in mainly if I looked at uh, Taki and Abutbul, okay, the Morocco Mafia, that was mainly cooperating on uh, MDMA, which is a drug that is used uh, for people that don't have housing first and um, an open dialogue is used to heal from the emotional uh, facets of uh, um, uh, tra trauma, okay, like uh, you know, the sexual abuse, um, uh, expendable children that were surviving uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and war trauma and so on. Um, so MDMA is kind of like the emotional healing and amphetamines is kind of like halfway MDMA. It's used for uh, concentration, for hours taking prescribed amphetamines in academia, then that helped me to process 
uh, my sticky PSD and then later I would move to essential oils. Um, so that that's what they were trading, okay? Uh, mainly, uh, very likely other things too, okay? The fentanyl is disaster, um, but it's also important when we take a look at what's the bigger battle. Well, the bigger battle is that you're going to be uh, having mass prescription of uh, Viagra rapes uh, and concoctions as we see now in war that are not uh, just like drug cartels, it's basically uh, already the WHO um, and, and prescribed drugs that people are getting tortured, forced to take and so on. So again, tend to the mental ailment uh, or, or tend to the mental health um, uh, and, and be kind with the people who deal with mental health it will help you because what you see with the marginalized what is happening later will happen to larger society okay it's uh, very important and biggest inspiration for me what i learned from peter is if there is a battle with a couple of battles pick pick the bigger one because you will have to fight it anyway if you fight the bigger one small then they might not get that big um, we all have expression later in this life uh, but if you have a fight, fight the bigger fight, uh, the biggest fight that you can fight uh, uh, from, from your vantage point, uh, you tend to it and then you, you see it's like a tower of cards, all the small fights, they set into pieces. Um, and so um, the, that is why I uh, suspect that uh, that 18th degree has to do with drugs, it's not just the drug cartel sending for assassination but actual poison um and so i said it <laughs> so when it comes to um uh, the uh, outer planets we are look what degrees are we looking for okay both all of the planets okay 11th degree has to do with electricity which is very good to talk about uh, um, you know, the children, the tortured, the expandable children, the use of electricity to program. Uh, I discuss it in, in other related episodes. Um, and even with people that, that have gone through this and were very likely perpetrators, because um, uh, they are programmed to both receive and perform um, uh, crime as children. Uh, I refer you to Annika Lucas, episode 9 of her own podcast, her own YouTube channel, um, to understand more of how an Epstein uh, could be uh, created. And this is not to downplay certain, you know, uh, the choice of responsibility of people, but when this is done to children, and uh, then, of course, what, can, what choice and responsibility can we talk about? And they are, if you know a little bit about uh, non-dynamic linear non-linear dynamic systems like a chaos um, then you understand that, that there is probability as to the bifurcation because it is risk management whether they manage to get an Epstein or um, or they run away from the cult and tremendous amount of energy is invested in this including electrocution uh, and, and torture with electricity so 11 degrees suicide electricity and so on and so forth. Um, also, Urano algo is associated with electricity, uh, but here you can turn magically uh, to uh, Urano algo and speak up and change. Um, and the 18th degree uh, is, uh, like I said, all types of poisoning, but the 22nd is uh, murder, simply put. So 22nd is intentional killing, okay? Um, and so uh, 11 to 18 like for what I started this episode uh, with is uh, uh, poison induced suicide uh, 22 uh, uh, 18 is a, a combination of uh, poison and murder or intentional murder through poison okay yes i do not predict that this would be just oh a drug a drug cartel person killed that person no that would be the drug cartel would be pisces 
18 degree Pisces. But the 18 degree itself, yes, it is not a Pisces degree. Uh, Pisces degree is 24 degrees and 12 degrees, the manifestation degrees, by the way. Uh, but um, as a person with an abundance of degrees in the tropical chart. Uh, but um, when it comes to uh, 1822, um, it is a, a combination. It is murder through poisoning. Um, and so uh, that, 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 that's uh, my prediction. I guess taking um, Nikolas Stoyanovich degree theory and his cases and moving forward on this now is a question what happens with as i said rahu and ketu the north and south um uh, nodes that are connected with eclipses um, when we see them um, and you can go to websites like astro.com astrosig.com uh, to, to check for free it's free uh, and available and what happens when you see those eclipse nodes on one of these degrees? Um, my prediction is, yes, it is fated, especially if the person is eclipse child. Um, but even if not, it is fated. Um, fated. Okay. And you say, what about me if I have to... Okay. I have Mars, 22 degrees, retrograde Scorpio. Uh, right where the sun, 22 degrees of Peter, uh, uh, the freaks, not Peter from Astro City, <laughs> was. Um, and of course, we all, we all have expiration date. And um, intentional thing can, can take many forms. I'm told that with dignity. Um, it's like even if you have to kill someone. Okay. Uh, retrograde might mean you're... <laughs> <laughs> I have to give it a backlash because I'm more responsive than initiatory, so I'm less of like a murderer. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> but you also might not want to comfort it. When it's my time, it's my time. If it's not my time, might not be idea to uh, try to comfort me. Um, so, especially if you know, it's like, a, you know, if you're, if you're, yeah, like cause I always pick the bigger battles for a few years. Um, and so on um, and what what I have to say about this is that yeah we all have expiration date um, but uh, you can tend to prevention of assassination you can tend to raise awareness you can make changes in the world um, you can um, uh, assist in, in activism okay Peter started his way by tending to murder cases where the, the convicted murderer was not exactly the murderer. Unfortunately, later in his life, he would uh, not be so able to talk about uh, Joris Deming uh, and his babysitting case. Um, for uh, there are things that beyond the scope of this episode uh, to discuss and again he chose the bigger battle he chose the who for like a duf and by tending to jfk is what i'm checking right now okay very likely also those mormon <laughs> mafias um you couldn't say it in so many words uh but uh he chose the bigger battle this is what i what i figured um, there and Joris Deming is not a bigger battle. He's just one Supreme Court judge, and they uh, switch every seventy years, um, and they are extorted themselves. So I went on for the WHO. I was like, "Oh, the WHO bringing it up." And yes, in that case, he was correct. We should not neglect or ignore uh, what's done to children and by who. Uh, but right now, it is by who. And, and 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 those are you know managed by the same people who ordered this from the supreme court and extorted certain parts of like for maybe even drug cartels um bankers politicians journalists crime journalists who knows <laughs> okay uh, but this is important to understand that the 
uh, to make way for people to do their thing uh, and, and, and we need to tend to expandable children and abolish this practice okay so if you have fated things it means you are a part of the lineage of bringing into awareness and creating change in the world uh, around these things okay that, that's how i see it that's how i tend to it um, and this is what you know this series is about is basically leaving that lineage and leaving that knowledge behind um, so it is available for you to build on that and, and perfect that um, and and tend to the changes that need to be made regarding that uh, because the way I take my take on fate is not um, you know always fated there are more fated charts less fated charts but my take on fate is like oh it is my fate to change these things uh, it is my fate to raise awareness it is my fate to um, uh, create uh, um, you know a little bit of a rejuvenation here in the energy um, and this is for this episode okay uh, because uh, the time the transits the elections op that open up to us and i talked about asteroids before especially when asteroid cassandra was passing so for me it was very synchronized I heard a colleague astrologer talking about Cassandra asteroid. I didn't know it. Um, and then I checked it in my chart. It was field personal. And I checked it in my chart. And it was next to my photo. It was fated position. I was somehow connected to uh, a story that was uh, along the theme of uh, the Cassandra myth, which is the prophet that tried to warn everybody but was persecuted and wasn't believed and there was indeed a doom and gloom um, and uh, one of the first cases if not the first case i would actually look at this yes uh, cassandra uh, and that was 2007 um, with the many discoveries that i had there uh, yes but that was the asteroid cassandra going back and forth conjuncting an outer planet Pluto in Aquarius, okay? And during, at the time, where Uranus was in the 22nd degree, right conjuncting my lot of spirit, which is the what, how can I respond? And how, how was I able to respond? Is basically to astrologically tend to, for that case of Cassandra, but also for the many things that I tend to today, uh, what is bloodline, lineages, cults, the girl that was not with the cult and perhaps wanted to warn people uh, and many things that we cannot know now um, um, or, 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 or even the ways that you are allowed to look at a case uh, the spirit and the matter uh, and so yes, asteroids are very significant transits of asteroids and you will see how when you look to your chart again okay, you utilize the astrology the, the type of things that you are meant to look into will be more accessible to you and will synchronize with you more like that cassandra story i have no idea then a colleague talks about cassandra asteroid i say this feels something very personal i check where is cassandra asteroid for me and i see it's next to my ketu and and I was like, oh, but the first case that I looked at was Cassandra. And then that was Cassandra. And I'm like, I have to do this. <laughs> um, but I didn't uh, open up the chart like publicly. Um, there are more things right now. Cassandra is actually retrograde. So she will be meeting Pluto again. Um, and, uh, and, and we will have more happenings regarding that um, and again without tending to targeted individuals to bloodlines to eugenics to, to, to expandable children i think we would not be able to understand uh, uh this case the, the, the cassandra case it is cassandra okay it's it, it's it is what it is the name has meaning 
um, uh, it's not the whole story, but but we don't have the whole story without it. Just like just what Walt Safin uh, can tell us, very smart team. But why was Martin murdered? We might need what are expense upon cooling for the imagination podcast. Um, prediction, okay? Because I don't know. And um, and I also I mentioned this before when it comes to tending to cold cases, when the police wants to solve it's not the police, okay? So please. Um, uh, yes, police is uh, enforcing, uh, um, uh, yes, uh, law, but it's not creating law, and it's not, um, uh, yes, uh, judging, uh, and so on, uh, but uh, police is the first thing that we say, that when police is allowed, allowed, and this is my great um, you know, learning from, uh, from from Peter's case is when police is allowed to work, then they would work with the psychics, they would work with uh, remote viewers, they would work with everyone to find the missing people. When police not allowed to work, it's not when police is not doing his job. When police not allowed to do his job, there's not small bribery here. Then we will see suddenly, we cannot see if that person was administered drug that could have caused, caused increase of suicide tendencies. We cannot see if, if, if it was the medical record of this person. And when, when you talk about a cold case, mind you, this is a decade later sometimes. Who is, whose privacy is this protecting? WHO, definitely not a targeted individual. And so, um, and then all of these things, of course, you won't see it by transaction. Uh, but just today, I was sitting at the cafe and uh, had my credit all good. I was supposed to have credit, yes, but after two purchases, and I sit at the cafe, card doesn't go. I said, that's very strange. I have on the show. I said, oh, it's too late to call the bank now. And anyway, I would need to have an appointment with the bank to see my money. And the uh, uh, credit works in this first, the postal bank, uh, that uh, with my debit card I can use, but I cannot take out cash. And so I explained this. Um, and... They talk with me, talk with me, and so on, and say, maybe you can leave ideas. I said, listen, if I leave the card for when I take the bus, I cannot go home unless you have a place to house me, and I warn you that if I'm not safe, I'm very damageful. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but if I leave my ID, then I cannot go to the bank because they want to see ID. <laughs> and so they've talked and talked, and I said, you know what, here's a solution. I have another card here. I can leave you the picture for my ID, yes. I have another card here is uh, external has no money in it is to, to load the money but this is my card and yeah, again and on that card there was a talisman but that they don't know uh, if it's not if it was to protect me not for anybody else uh, but uh, and they leave that they leave my number and said no they check anything I left them the picture for my ID and they check the check so well I'll see and meanwhile the manager of the coffee uh, she says, but if I would let you go with this, they will fire me. And I was like, then what, I will never come to eat here. If I hear about a better workplace <laughs> for you guys, I mean, your, your service is great, the food is great, but this is something very strange behavior. And then come two policemen, a man and woman, very polite. They want me to leave my ID, but when I leave my ID, I say, okay, I've had, maybe I can have the ID of who, who is the person? He doesn't give his identity. And the police, I said, like, what? It is legal for me to give ID to this person? If I come to you later, I say, I lost my ID. How? I gave it to some person. Is this correct? He said, no, you go to the interior. And then she asks me the question. We pop the question. It's like, don't you have a biometric ID? 
And then I said, well, bring the children first. I'm half Dutch. <laughs> where are all the expandable children? Where are all the this? Where are all the that? And she understood she's not going to go easy. Because said, this is, no, I was just asking if this is your idea. I said, this is my idea. Of course, this is my idea. Uh, and of course, I don't have biometric ID. Um, uh, you can imagine that the person, well, this is Israel and it is a country in a war. So you can imagine that the person who owns the restaurant, business thinking, okay, if you have one person sitting, and I was wanted to pay tip for two cups of coffee, yes, you say the person off. You know, th this time only when you have pain, because later I would feel so obligated that I would come and at least I would order something and at least I would pay and so on. And it's not the first time that I'm there, um, but it's not regular, it's not business thinking. That was the first thing that sparked me. Doesn't this is very strange? And I said, of course, let's find people who can donate him money. <laughs> so seven times 70 for the 70 that I wanted to pay with the tip. Um, and they published in the Facebook group. And I was like, oh, let's, let's publish also in the, those groups that tend to the WHO, that tends to exposing, you know, for the cultures. Um, because there's something on here. It's very unvisible that he would behave in this way and it's also even more unvisible that the police would arrive <laughs> for 70 shekels which is something like not even 20 dollars okay including the tip and so that was something when when i gave photo of my id and i gave a card that is on my name <laughs> A credit card, not with a lot, um, not with money, but on my name. Yes, and of course my phone. So if the police has all this, why would they send two cops, men and women? They are very polite men and women. I have no, uh, but it's very interesting. Yes, of what happened. And so, um, yes, what what they don't know is for me every such thing has become a blessing. Uh, and then and then later I tried to buy uh, something more with the credit card. Indeed, they blocked the uh, account because they wanted my ID, to get my ID because I don't have a biometric ID. Okay. So what else? Or when are they going to release my bank? I don't know. But they started a, a problem with the wrong person, <laughs> and during Lilith in my eighth house, of course, I predicted something is going to happen um, but this is just to tell you okay when the police is allowed to do its job it will work with the psychic it will work with many people the omens by the way that i got was one the marengo and the second milan uh, and i turned to the people are relevant that could be uh, um, associated with this or maybe because i was supporting uh, or was tending to prevention of their assassination um, then perhaps somebody didn't want that to happen maybe because of religion uh, and so on I have nothing against anybody's religion yes but you have to be respectful to people abolish expandable children I think all religions all people whether you're a drug cartel or your mafia okay most people drug cartels mafia they don't like to uh, abuse children uh, so we are, have the same interest and I have nothing you know as long as like I don't have amphetamines is good, uh, MDMA, uh, yes, is uh, for, for treating trauma. I would not take from the person what helps them. Um, and so, yes, it's because of, I know the person that I was uh, uh, tending to, they, they talk about what they don't like in Islam, which is basically the child trafficking and, a child, and basically the, the version of expandable children in Islam. Yes, so with that I agree, but I think every every uh, secular person, uh, or not secular person, would agree, especially if they are you know, drug cartel. So I don't think it's conflict of interest here. Um, but it did took me some time. At the beginning I didn't get it, and I said, well, it is the past the Quran, uh, and perhaps because that's, but it's not a problem. Uh, it's just important to abolish expandable children, just the common of all religious and non-religious, it's not okay that children will be tortured, raped, and of any, like, it's not good. Yes, and, and that's, that the rest, 
is uh, less the point as far as I'm concerned. This turned into the assassination prevention. That's it. So um, I hope that seals the deal. But um, but this is also to tell you of when police is not allowed to do its job, then it will do very funny things. <laughs> and for the problem, it's not the police the problem because it's coming from higher ups. Okay, and this is something you also need to understand. When you're lo not allowed to look at it uh, from a, a creative point of view, to solve a problem from a creative point of view, or astrology, or psychic, or remote viewing, or anything of that sort, or to connect to this or connect to that, then you understand there's a block, and that block uh, is the, as your, means you're onto something. There's more than that specific case. Um, so those are the cases that I tend to right now, um, but because my Mars is ruling over Pluto and I'm in the Pluto square. Okay, Pluto Scorpio. So um, for you, you want to check your chart, you want to get to know yourself because there are certain things that are going to come more easily to you. It's your gut feeling, okay? It's just like what's going on but with the gut feeling it's not just the gut feeling you test and you see and astrology can be one great tool for you to see okay what what astral is come what's the name of the person what planets okay how does this connect with my chart okay when i was how did i uh, learn about the, the freeze it was after he was assassinated yes i talked about what before but i didn't know it was him and so on um and uh, that was to do with i was in between houses the ruler of the ruler of my fourth house is that mars on 22 scorpio in the ninth house so when i was again uh, abroad to where i naturally usually live or reside yes it's my fatherland but uh, still uh, which in netherlands would make it the ruler of the relocated chart the ruler of the fourth house in the 11th so having activism against um, uh, assassination but what to do with housing a real estate um, and so housing or what is housing for the cartels to do with real estate is what's happening is the reset okay and then I have my son 22 uh, I, have my <laughs> I have my Mars 22 degrees retrograde and the Sun uh, uh, for uh, the freeze um, was right on that Mars and it was almost remediatory again okay? was running into an uh, article was dead crime journalist I have no idea uh, anything more and then said oops I had a feeling something with the police and I said oh well, let's try to channel and I got this country is North Korea um, uh, which, uh, and by the way, at the time, but right now, North Korea is actually opening. <laughs> it's becoming more liberal. Well, the West is becoming this country is more North Korea. Um, so that is very uh, fascinating. And you see how that connected to my chart when I was in between houses, when I was homeless, um, and I was in these shelters, and uh, they tried to recruit you to here, recruit you to there, and I'm like, I don't do these things. Or when you're uh, in the street, then they try to recruit you here, recruit, or put you in human trafficking, yes? And you're like, I don't do these things, um, and so on. Uh, and I was thinking, okay, well, who are the homeless people? One, it is refugees, and so on and so forth. But you could also be like me. Well, I, doggy sitting in Israel was cancelled, and I was in the street. Um, and so um, that was... Uh, uh, this happening a lot in Netherlands as well, or travelers as well. It's very easy to get, way easier than I thought to get uh, in this, these situations, uh, but to get out. Okay. <laughs> uh, but the other sector is children. Okay, so child fight with the parents or want to be rebellious um, or get lost in the way. They spend one day in the street. So you understand the very um, the people who trade in children, the people who do many horrible things, uh, kidnapping, of course, but it's like 
who are the homeless. It all began from that. You see how my chart was connecting to that chart. Um, and I was targeted uh, after uh, not complying <laughs> with, the, <laughs> uh, with, uh, with, with, with basically uh, those who uh, do certain things to children. Uh, and so I have, I guess, a place in, in this world where I am an agent of raising awareness to these things and do what, make what my part to change that. Um, so this is how uh, charts connect and how you also get, when it's time for you, also get the wisdom from people. When it's time to tend to banking for this, I was turning to Algol. And by Algol reference, I saw someone who was talking about another channel watching that other channel and then in the comments i hear you have to watch ronald bernard so i watch ronald bernard and i'm like oh my god and then uh, of course i watch annika lucas for, for this episode i begin it and then there's a retrograde i watch it again i'm like oh my god that person was supposed to be epstein so he was he was supposed to be epstein i know annika lucas started to listen to her i'm like Aren't these politicians extorted? But then I hear about Lars, which was both hurt by Wilders, but also exposed that Wilders was hurt himself um, by satanic ritual abuse. And I'm like, wait, well, the, but our enemies is not Elon Musk, the Trump, uh, Wilders, or the, all the leaders, or the, so our, our enemies are those who extort them. Because to those who extort, you have to raise the leader's soul to torture them from the beginning so that you have what to extort. And then you have to raise someone to extort. That's another expandable chat. That is what, and then what I said back then to Wilders, of like, yes, but those who practice expandable children, they practice expandable people and expandable leaders. Okay? And that needs to be tended to, because his vantage point, there's only so much yes, you can do and, and stay alive. Um, but being, of course, I'm totally privileged that I'm not in his position. Uh, it's time to raise awareness and connect all the dots uh, so that we can, people and all of all walks of life tend to those expandable children projects and to those assassination and adulthood and extortion and blackmail. Um, is asking to remove a lot of uh, preconceived notions um, and again if there's if there's a battle then choose the bigger battle that you, biggest battle you can tend to from your vantage point because anyway you'd have to deal with that uh, and if you fight the big battle small then the rest of them become sometimes even obsolete uh, because just because you have tended to this um, and by the way if you target an individual for credit or credit score uh, I will notify you if I say anything international about uh, uh, lawsuits uh, that are independent of um, uh, like Vaxner fund um, and apparently Israel is quite big so, uh, so if it's Wagner fund, Vaxner fund in Israel uh, then declaring conflict of interest with Vaxner fund with WHO with uh, WEF uh, and with Vatican. Vatican is very important because they all cut dividends to Vatican. Okay, um, and, and that um, uh, is, uh, is something that, uh, yes, it's not cheap because it's not an uh, advisor, but uh, it is something that you need to know that, that you can do. Okay, that, that, that must be done. Because uh, back then, if, if for Juristam Inc., everybody would declare conflict of interest with Juristam Inc., they would have to come up with another judge. But the, but the people couldn't do that. So what they needed, but it's not Juristam Inc., but who is the fund that funded, that, that extorts him, basically? Like the Wachsner fund um, that picked like army, that picked like uh, uh, juristics, uh, academia. Uh, and so on, and now people are very pissed, but it's like, yeah, it's the 7th of October, it's like all these things happening, where were you guys? We all have, you know, if, if they kidnapped Ruth's children, what can we expect? 
for ritual abuse by the father. So, um, and this time because it's happening in Islam, it's happening in Judaism, it's happening in tribal societies, um, but this is um, get a part of the things that are relevant to the discussion uh, from the vantage point of where we speak. Um, so that when you tend to, when you understand your calling, you have more accurate uh, elections of when to tend to what, and, uh, and, and you have opportune times, okay, if you have court cases, and of course, I cannot see everything, I can see what is perfected for me to see, okay, I can see what is connecting with my chart. But another person can see what's connecting with their chart. And this is uh, basically how we do this. And we acknowledge the individual cases. We also acknowledge the commonalities. And we tend to all of those. Um, so there's a lot of things that you don't, we don't, I might not agree with, I don't know, Taki or Wilders um, uh, or so on. But if, I think with common ground is that children should not be tortured to death uh, and to become torturers as well um, in any form. So I think that that is a kind of like it's a common ground of what other people think or what the strategy or what this or what that. You don't have to agree about anything, but for, just to abolish expandable children, I think it's basic uh, uh, demand uh, that... Um, and that we cannot uh, demand it from our politicians alone. We also have to be innovative and think and attend to it and understand it. Uh, yes, ourselves. I know that people tend into the replaced at birth uh, cases. I haven't looked uh, deeper into that. I know that people are, that children are not even registered uh, as birth, uh, birthed. Um, and, and yes, we, we need to attend to that. So if, if, tend to that and then we also remove the blockages from the ai or from the fears we have because they were programming people before they were programming um uh, robots and when elon musk says uh what the danger of ai to humanity he is intending that in ways that we don't have access to understand so much and that is those programmings that d talks about that was also heard by musk if we look to this testimony in Imagination Podcast, or to Lars' testimony, but definitely this testimony, um, then you understand that um, of what, what the programming, of what they did to people, that because they're going to do copy-paste to the children that are going to artificially birth, uh, and to the uh, artificial intelligence, the, the danger is not in, in that artificial intelligence alone, but rather for what the programming is and, uh, and who more than people like Musk who survived like being expandable children know that what it means. Okay. Um, and by the way, if I talked about when he was launching X.com on Urano Algol. I don't know who gave the election, um, but of course, those things are going to come out right now. Um, and perhaps this was attempt to make Elon Musk expandable, okay, to, to off with his head from those who extort him here. Now these going to talk, now the shadow bands are going to get bad, now this is going to get bad. But we must remember to how this started with expandable children project. The children are tortured, and they are tortured until they torture. If they don't agree, they torture. And that is how those things created. And that what we have to eliminate uh, uh, so we can tend to the problem and not just rejuvenate the leaders or rejuvenate the business people and, and then they're off with their heads. But then we haven't solved the problem um, and, uh, and, and, and haven't attended uh, to that. And in that sense, um, that that is also uh, for, for those things that that are happening. Uh, and is the more we talk about this, 
uh, we the people, the more we have access. Because Musk can't tell you that. Willers can't tell you that. Trump can't tell you that. They can tell you that. But then she will be silenced. And then you have to look at Annika Lucas. And then you have to look at who she interviews. And then you have to look at the Imagination Podcast. And you have to bring the dots in together to create the picture. And that and, and that when you understand that this this picture, when you understand it's not from childhood, then you understand what they're heading for robots and so on. But before that, here if, if we tend to it at expandable children, and I think this is why Sedna is opening up the gate, Sedna Pluto, uh, and with Lilith now, the grand triumph, uh, opening up the gate of dealing with the trust based on betrayal that is the product of what expandable children are doing is that are like the trust card because they're the extortion card. We might even change the entire meaning for those astrologers watching this, the entire meaning of the eighth house. If you think about, oh, it's the house of betrayal. No, it's the house of trust funds. It's the house of this. Those are the expandable children as betrayal. But if we don't practice expandable children, a lot of the signification of betrayal Sedna are being removed from the eighth house. The birthing process of babies can't be better for many people. So not everything. I'm not uh, going to eliminate anything, but they're arriving to the world and they, and they live in the world. Um, it can be better. To tend to it to that because if it's not even accessible to people they cannot tend to it now it's becoming accessible so we tend to it before it becomes ai and manufactured children and so on and so forth like where is this quality coming from for those expandable children programs that later become targeted individuals and then people are divided for you think that the, that your leader um uh, is uh, that you this you versus the leader that is the child versus the adult, because because the adult was, was, the, was the tortured and torturer child that survived. Um, the children to, the children need to have childhood. Also, the, the, the those adults they also need to have childhoods to recovery. This is why if we do practice housing first, open dialogue, because they were not going to be able to. Take accountability, take responsibility, take this, or they've never had a childhood. Who are you asking? And there's a lot to consider, but before Pluto and Aquarius, we go AI on it and Sedna and Gemini, then we have a, a portal where we can manifest change for children to have childhood uh, and so on and so forth and you know i think uh, till swanich is a very contra another controversial person because you grew up in a mormon cult you don't want to believe her because she looks great or she looks like a model and she talks so freely what about sexuality what about this what about that you don't want to believe her but she grew up in a mormon cult she saw it. How, and then you see how your celebrities are in this situation. And she said, we're going to have to be nice to our technology. Yes, and if we, we, essentially it means that we have to be nicer to ourselves. Because a free man needs not to oppress another. A free woman needs not to oppress another. And it's, it's for us to be safe and free. Say, I am safe and free. And connect with the, with the I am safe and free. Um, and that's it. So this is a very holistic episode 10 of Water Expands Upon Cooling. I um, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Now, this one does go published. I don't <laughs> do it and list it. Uh, so uh, thank you. <laughs>